The first time say, is a typical distributed cloud infrastructure and it was designed to support um, researchers and scientists in performing their activity. To better explain the value added you know, that we try to offer you know, to all our scientists, um, we could start from a simple example of a scientist uh, that needs to access a, a service and this service use a database. To perform this simple task, usually a, a user has to uh, install the technology, has to configure it, then to manage you know, this technology and also to monitor that it works you know, properly as it was expected. So, and if the user needs to share you know, this uh, service with other users, it's even more complex because the user has to manage in you know, some way uh, the authentication authorization to this service, to this group of users, and enable uh, the, the sharing of those resources. So this is very complex, time-consuming, and is not specific to the activity of a researcher. So thanks to the different science infrastructure, this can be completely outsourced you know, to, the, to the infrastructure that create a virtual laboratory. And the virtual laboratory will remove all these uh, um, steps that are needed. So no need to install the service or to configure it or to manage you know, the single sign-on across the service because all these uh, action activities you know, will be performed automatically in the virtual laboratory. The for science ensures access to a broad range of computational, storage and international data resources in the context of your own virtual laboratories, where access, policies and privacy is guaranteed and where it is possible to uh, easily add the services and application and data and computing, cap computing capacity that you need to perform your research activity, to offer advanced tools for research sharing and research publishing, as well as user collaboration and interaction. Moreover, the for science provides users with direct access to the place where the research is carried out, which is the virtual laboratory, enabling the reusability of research outputs and the reproducibility of in silico experiments. The Blue Cloud Laboratory provides access to three different services. Uh, one is a distributed uh, analytics engine, the second one is a Jupyter Lab that allows to operate uh, Jupyter Notebooks. And the third one is uh, R Studio to work with uh, the R language. The, the added value of the Cloud Virtual Research Environment is to enable collaboration, reduce the cost of operation of a complex distributed infrastructure, enable uh, sharing of uh, uh, data, but also of uh, computing methods and algorithms and support reuse and the reproducibility of the, the experiments.